people view him. Frank, your work in this film against all odds is incomparable, and I salute you for that, and bravo. Please. How did he do it? How for so many years did Sean Penn get all those jobs playing straight men? <laughs> Being a movie star can get in the way of acting, but not for Sean. Sean Penn, the actor, loses himself in every role. So we can discover a man named Sam, Mystic Rivers' Jimmy Markham, the surfer dude Spicoli, a dead, dead man walking, and Harvey Milk. Sean brings the... <laughs> Sean brings the same commitment to his off-screen life. You see it when he campaigns for human rights, respectfully advises world le leaders, and gently, gently reasons with the paparazzi. Tonight, it's important to be a great actor. In life, it's more important to be a great human being. That's my friend, Sean Patton. Not that I'm a fan of being Googled, but <clears throat> if you Google the resume of Richard Jenkins, you'll scroll across a career that includes over 60 films in the last 25 years. This is an actor with a vast repertoire. And in The Visitor, you're in the lead, Richard. And you're, you carry every scene with an effortless and compelling simplicity, born of the ease only experience can bring. You're unquestionably recognizable. But tonight, Richard Jenkins, I'm happy that you get the recognition. Bravo. Uh, Brad Pitt, a leading man we all know, shows up about two-thirds of the way through the movie The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Before that time, we've watched a wonderful performance by a truly great, great character actor. It seems that uh, this is the role to bring you the, that acknowledgement, Brad. And apart from the wonderful uh, trickery and magical technology employed, uh, Benjamin Button is a fully realized creation thanks to the skills of a brilliant actor I've had the pleasure to work with and to know well. And magnificent job, my friend. Great, brilliant work. Congratulations. <laughs>